Joyeuse is the name of Charlemagne's personal sword. Today, there are two swords attributed to Joyeuse. One is a sabre that is kept in the Weltelici Schatzkammer in Vienna, while the other is housed at the Louvre in France. The blade on display at the Louvre claims to be partially built from Charlemagne's original sword. The sword is made of parts from different centuries, so it can be hard to positively identify the weapon as Joyeuse. The hilt of the sword indicates a manufactory date around the time of Charlemagne. The heavily sculpted gold pommel is made in two halves and the long gold grip was once decorated with diamond. El Cid owned and used many different swords in his lifetime, but the two most famous are Colada and Tizona. Tizona is a sword that was used by El Cid to fight against the Moors. The weapon is one of Spain's most cherished relics and is believed to have been forged in Córdoba, Spain, although considerable amounts of Damascus steel can be found in its blade. Damascus steel was primarily used in the Middle East. Tizona is 103 cm inches long and weighs 1.1 kg it contains two separate inscriptions, with one listing a manufactory date of 1002 and the other quoting the Catholic prayer Ave Maria. Tizona is currently on display at the Museo de Burgos in Spain. Mune was a Japanese swordsmith that is widely regarded as one of the world's greatest metallurgists. The exact dates for Masamune's life are unknown, but it is believed that he worked from 1288 to 1328. Masamune's weapons have reached legendary status over the centuries. He created swords known as Tachi and daggers called Tanto. The swords of Masamune have a strong reputation for superior beauty and quality. He rarely signed his works, so it can be hard to positively identify all his weapons. The remarkable characteristics of Damascus steel became known to Europe when the Crusaders reached the Middle East, beginning in the 11th century. They discovered that swords of this metal could split a feather in mid-air, yet retain their edge through many a battle with the Saracens. The swords were easily recognized by a characteristic watery or damask pattern on their blades. Dufakar is the ancient sword of the Islamic leader Ali. Ali was the cousin and son-in-law of the Prophet Muhammad. He ruled over the Islamic Caliphate from 656 to 661. By some historical accounts, Muhammad gave Dufakar to Ali at the Battle of Uhud. Muhammad admired Ali's power and strength on the battlefield and wanted to present him with the cherished weapon. The sword is a symbol of the Islamic faith and is admired by millions of people.